Hi again, let's continue with our, our project here. And in the last video, we set up the, um, the array to hold movies and we created the movie struct. And then we kind of adjusted our detail view controller so it can take a movie, you know, it can, we can pass a movie to it, right? And then it can display the, the name of the movie, right? And, uh, and the thing is in view controller here, we, uh, we pass that movie in, but our problem is that now our movie array is empty, okay? Now we could create movies inside here, but it's a little difficult and it's gonna look awkward. So what we'll do is we'll create movies inside view did load, right? So as soon as this view loads, but before we display anything on the screen, we'll populate our array with some movies, right? So, um, so let's find view did load, okay? And so the view did load method um, begins here with override func view did load parentheses curly bracket. And then all of the code that gets executed when this function is called is inside the curly braces here, right? So, um, so we gotta make sure that the next code we put is inside these two curly braces. So right here, let's do this. Um, remember we have array, right? So we wanna add a movie to array. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say movie.append. And so when we use the append method on an array, we're adding a new item to that array. And then it says new element, and you can put anything in an array, right? Actually, this array has to take a, a, a movie though, right? So what we'll do is we'll type uppercase movie and then when you type the parentheses, um, structs are kind of fun because they give you a, a default initializer where you know it initializes all the properties. And you can see when we create a movie, the struct needs to know what the name, the year, and the director is for that movie. Okay, so it's asking us to you know supply that information. So you can just hit return. And then for the name, we'll put a string here. And for the year, we can put, um, you know what? I have some movies here. I'm going to do 2001 A Space Odyssey. And, uh, you know, I'll paste that right here. And then for the year, it's 1968. And so I'll, I'll paste that over here for the int. And then for the director, um, I think it's Stanley Kubrick, so I'll copy his name here and paste it in, uh, in here, right? Okay, now I'm getting an error there because I've got one parenthesis here, and then there's another one here, so you can see two of these, you know, parentheses on the left side, and there's only one on the right side, so actually I need a second one, so when I when I let the code hint write this in, it actually deleted one of those off the end. So we gotta make sure we have them both, right? And then that cleans up those errors. And then let's do it again. So we'll say array dot append, and then we'll make another movie here. And then you can see there's a parentheses here. And then when I hit return and type a new one and do this, you can see it loses that other parentheses on the end, so we'll have to add that back in. You need to have two over here if we have two on this side, right? Okay, so uh, what, what's our other movie now? Um, let's do Logan's Run, right? We'll, we'll do a better way of, of entering these movies, but just for testing, we can hard code three of them in here, right? But later we'll, we'll import the data from somewhere else, right? Um, so we got that. So that was from 1976, right? Um, let's go back here and paste 1976. And then the director was Michael Anderson. Let's copy that. Go back to Xcode, paste it here. And then we'll do that one more time. Array.append, uppercase movie, parentheses, wait for the code hints to tell you what to put there. Make sure you get the extra parentheses on the end there because it seems to be deleting it, you know. Xcode actually always does that, right? So we'll copy, this is Spinal Tap, which is a great movie, you guys should all watch it. Um, and then the year, I think this was, I just remember that this one was 1984, Right, and the director was Rob Reiner. I'll copy his name and make sure I spell it right. Um, so we'll copy that and paste it there. 
Okay, so now I got three movies. So let's give this a test, right? So I'll I'll click run and oh, it built okay. And there's 2001, Logan's Run, Spinal Tap. And I'll click on this and it says do that. Okay, obviously we're having a problem with the text there. It's not long enough for the thing. Oh, it works good with that one, right? Um, but anyway, it looks like it's working. So if you got that, pat yourself on the back. Um, and now we're set up to do anything, right? So we can have as much information as we want in this array and we can display all sorts of information. And you can see we still have the one array and we haven't done anything crazy here, okay? So thanks for watching and we'll continue and to, to work on this project in the next couple of videos.